So in this video, I actually jump back into campaign or objective and I switch my objective and now I have all of the formats that I can run my ads. So the reason that we choose the format we do, um, just like the other ones when we're running video views, we can do the slideshow or the single video. There's also uh, canvas ads. There's other ones you can run um, in addition to these, but these are the four major groups. So say right here we have a single ad and it's going to pop up right here with a single photo. Uh, it's going to be very big right in somebody's face. Um, unless you're doing video though, you can't do retargeting based on if somebody scrolls past your image. Uh, but if you did a carousel ad, you could actually have multiple different things. Say you have the same image here, uh, but then the next image you have the map of your location or um, if you're doing dynamic ads, you'll probably do a carousel because it'll have your multiple different products in that category. Uh, but you can do it multiple different ways and actually get in front of people exactly how you want to. Uh, so if you have you know, poor image quality or you have that kind of stuff, you're not going to get anywhere with no matter what you actually choose. But on here, you can choose any of these four right here, especially if you're doing engagement or something other than video views, because of course video views is video. So you have to do video or slideshow. So carousel, you could also technically do a slideshow. Um, it's kind of the same thing, but it just plays through as a video. As you can see right here, creates a loop video ad with up to 10 images. So carousel is a little bit more interactive, uh, where the slideshow, it makes sure that people are seeing all your images, where if the carousel, they just see one major image coming through. So say they're scrolling through here, and they see this one image, and this other one doesn't catch their eye, they might just keep scrolling, uh, where if it's actually the video playing through, that'll probably see all of the the ones and you can also retarget based on um, how much they saw of that one what I want to do is start on exactly carousel now that we've kind of gone over those and the reasons you might choose one over the other so now that we know what everything is a single image is gonna be impactful um, especially how, if you try techniques like you make it a grayscale or you make a grayscale with a little bit of color in it or um, you have very eye-catching graphics on there something like that a single image could still work um, a lot of people do view videos more but a single image can still work in the uh, atmosphere especially if it's you know say a podcast or you're not good on camera or um, your products aren't showing that well on camera I mean something like that just put an image up there and just have really compelling copy you want your copy to be even better than if you had a video view uh, or a video um, ad up there because your single image is going to be a standalone. It's going to be right in front of people's faces. And if it doesn't offer the exact point you want to get to them, you need to make sure you tell them that story and you get them over to your side. So if we're doing carousel, it's kind of a, a mix between the two. Uh, you have a little more interaction because people actually have to click the button. So they do technically interact with the ad um, as they go from image to image. So like I was saying before, say you're doing a dentist or chiropractor or something like that locally, you might have an image of that dentist or chiropractor, a more professional image. So it's not just him on his iPhone, um, you know, just snapping his own photo in his studio. So you have a really nice image on there and then you have the location. Um, and then you have some other things. So it shows they're local, it shows they're right around you. Uh, again, the carousel ad is a great one for doing dynamic ads. So when you're doing dynamic ads, it's gonna show the different products based on the category that are actually selected. So you know, you know, somebody goes to your site and sees cats, you're not gonna show them watches from the other side of your site if you have cats and watches on the same one. But if it's say just a, a pet one, which would make a lot more sense, I don't know why I went with watches and cats, um, you know, you don't want them seeing the dog items and the cat items. You want them just seeing one or the other based on what they've actually viewed because that means they're probably interested in that item. If they've viewed both, then maybe they'll get see or they'll see both. But for the most part, you want to just make sure they are retargeted with their best interests and that's what the carousel ad really does well with dynamic ads. Now, if you're doing Amazon, you can't really do those ones. Um, you can retarget based on what landing page they went on to. So say they went on, you had uh, a dumbbell and a clamp for the end of uh, one of the lifting bars and uh, one of those ropes that, you know, everybody just like, you know, those ropes, you know what I'm talking about. It creates those waves and stuff and it's hooked on. So say you have those uh, three different products and then you send them to a landing page and they click through on one of the three products. Maybe we have a redirect page or something in the middle where it catches them and gives them a little bit of code before they get to Amazon um, or a second sales page or an article that has multiple in there and then they go to sales pages from there. There's different ways to work it so that way um, you can retarget them based on a carousel, single image, video, all those ones, uh, how they're going through the full process. 
So now on to, of course, as you, if you didn't know already, my favorite, the actual video, um, just for the retargeting capabilities. And also you can get a better point across. People consume video more and they can also read the uh, subtitles as it's going through. So they can read the subtitles, kind of get the action in the background in case they're not able to actually watch the video. Uh, but if they watch certain parts of the video, and I touched on this before, they can actually find out a lot more about your brand. Um, so you can tell a very compelling story, but if you're not able to actually illustrate, have testimonials, have other things in there, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder of a sell to begin with. So if you're starting with a smaller budget, make sure you get a more impactful ad in front of somebody, so that way you can do better retargeting and you can get them to buy. I mean, don't think that I'm saying that, hey, if you get a really impactful ad, you're going to have them buying the first time over and over and over again because that's very hard to do. I mean, at the beginning of your audience, when you're not uh, running through your audience and you haven't started remarketing, you haven't started all this kind of stuff, so people are seeing it over and over and it's a brand new product maybe they haven't seen before, uh, slideshow, kind of the same thing as a video. I don't think we really need to touch on that too much. You just upload some photos, it creates a slideshow, and that's about it. Um, I recommend one of the three on the left. So either a carousel, single image, or video. Video, of course, top but the other ones do serve a good purpose as well, depending on what's your actual goal. Um, if you're looking to convert and maybe it's a retargeting ad, maybe you don't want another video. Maybe you want a single image that has, hey, you abandoned the cart and then we have an image of anything in there. But maybe you just have the single image versus a full carousel or even uh, a video ad to remarket to them because you just, you, you know, they've seen your site four or five times, you remarketed them a bunch, they've gone down through different audiences you have and remarketing audiences and then at the end of the day, you're just like, hey, you guys, you guys want to buy or not kind of thing. Um, and then you throw a single image up in front of them, make them enticing. Maybe it's the end of your value ladder, something like that. Um, going along with an email campaign. So you could be emailing at the same time and then they could be seeing the same images from the emails on their Facebook page. Um, so that way it's not a carousel or something like that. And it, it becomes more of a native kind of thing. So they're seeing the emails, they're seeing the stuff on Facebook, they're seeing it on YouTube, they're seeing it on Google Shopping Network, they're seeing it on these different platforms and they're all about the same images. I hope that goes through everything. Rambled on a little bit there. All right, see you in the next video.